What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back. And we are back watching more Karens. And we've seen Karens get owned. We've seen rude Karens get humiliated. We saw Karens get karma. But today is a little bit different. Today, we are watching Karens Who Got What They Deserve, Police Edition. So this is from Public Freakout Videos. So go check them out. Subscribe to them. They do great videos. I'm subscribed to them. You should be subscribed to them as well. But anyways, let's get this on and let's watch some Karens get what they deserve. Police edition. Ever seen a Karen try to challenge law enforcement? It's like yeah, watching it's a Chihuahua when they're like, take on a oh, great day. I pay your One salary. You have to work charge, for me. While the other is just there me. to do their job. I refuse In this to video, let you arrest me. compiled some of the funniest and most ridiculous moments this of Karens be a good trying to take on the law. Picture this: a Karen, a police officer, and a noise complaint. Sounds like a recipe for disaster, right? The Karen in question insists she's not doing anything wrong, and when the officer arrives, she gives him an earful that she's leaves him her music. speechless. If I don't turn down, I'm taking video. So just so you know. So if I don't turn it down, what? Right, so you're because I'm not in violation of anything. It's either, not. You're you disturbing your neighbors. Either, you're gonna give a citation or be you can't. Arrested. You can't cite me, what? and you can't arrest me either. You so can't arrest me. It doesn't matter. Okay. Because. So, First of all, so look at the complaint, you, you can right. comment, you can what? cite, you can so cite right me. So right now, right now? No, they, you can they, cite they me? Said, they said that Who's you're they? bothering somebody's, Who's they? you're bothering someone's Who's private, they? um, Who's piece, they? okay? So I already told so you. They? Yeah, that if your you music are. is so loud, the neighbors are complaining. You, it doesn't matter. That's a problem. If you turn if, it back you're bothering up, mine. you're going to be arrested, okay? You can't arrest me. you have any questions? You don't, can't arrest me. I always love when they go, you can't arrest me. What law am I violating? Citizen, arrest for no. You're gonna be arrested. What okay? law am I violating? Oh, what please arrest her. You already what law am I violating? I hate it when they have these attitudes on them like this. I'm not violating any law. Because guess what? It ain't past ten. What is your name and badge number? Is she confusing the law What's with the, the HOA? Number? You can't deny me that. Um, rules. If I ask you for a name and badge number, you have to give it so to me. So you can blare your music as loud as you want until 8 p.m. Name and badge number? Here you go. I'm asking you for your name and badge number. Here you go. Can you name read it? No, nope. I can't. Actually, okay. I'm illiterate. What's your name and badge You're number? I'm illiterate. I am. My name is Officer Rusko. Your badge number? Now she's claiming to be What's illiterate. You? Thank you. If, if, I'm not if violating. I come back, you will am be arrested. I, I will not. Okay. Bet. Bet. Oh, please tell me, if show the aftermath of this. Bet. Have you ever seen someone get let off with a warning only to push their luck even further? Well, in this clip, we've got a driver who takes stupidity to a whole new level. After getting caught speeding, this kid is let off with a warning by a yeah, friendly just police take officer. The warning. But instead you don't of being have to grateful, he decides to stick here. his camera in the officer's face and act like a complete idiot. Are you videotaping me? Yeah, that's some knowledge you gave me. Like, you got right. off on a warning, bro. Yeah, good, brother. Listen. This, oh, you're making this only worse Tyler, on yourself. This is for you, brother. I gave you a break today. I didn't give you 92 and a 65. I gave you a ticket for not having your driver's license possession. You could have got two tickets today, but here's the thing. I don't like to see young kids out here doing what they're doing and not paying attention to what they're doing. Yeah, it's the entitled okay? kids out here to read about trying to be Karens. Paper. 19, 20 year old killed because they weren't paying attention to what they're doing. This could have been one of those cases, Tyler. Wake up. If you don't wake up, you ain't gonna wake up. Does that make sense? Exactly. So let's not go through this again. Yeah, Texting so, while driving. Yeah, and that's the thing too is Oh my god, like I don't wanna make this a generation thing, but my god, the current generation is just that they don't care. It's all about me, me, me. Like I gotta have this, I have to have that. It's all about me, me, me. I don't care about anyone else. I don't care if I hit someone else. I don't care. I want to go fast. I want to be excited. It's like, just obey the laws. Like, bro, you got off on a warning. Now you're getting a ticket. Like, it's the entitlement of some people. Driving is never a good idea, but some people just can't resist the urge oh, to stay she's connected. Texting and driving. In this clip, we've got a driver who gets caught red-handed and causes a scene that's as hilarious as it is ridiculous. Heads up, longer video. Oh, it's a body cam uh, video I'm too. Watching you drive all the way up the street with your head buried in the phone, all the way up the street. No, it was not. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pull you over. 
I love it when they're caught and they're like, no, it never happened. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, her phone's in her hand. Her phone's in her hand and her head's down right there. She just gave herself up. You're going to get pulled over. You're going to pull over into the BP lot. Pull up next to the uh, behind that. Yes, ma'am. Nothing else to do in your damn day, do you? Wow. Yeah, insult the cop that's pulling you over. That's a good idea. Pull over into the pull over into the BP lot. That's always a good idea. Insult the police officer. Did he just call her a douchebag? I need, brutality. I need your license, your registration, and insurance. She's already claiming please police brutality. He hasn't even done anything. Why? Because it's for my law? safety and your safety. Well, you see my yeah, for any uh, sudden movements. Is movement. against the law right there? Am I not allowed to have... I need your have... license, Is registration, and insurance, ma'am. You're willing to text with your daughter in the back seat. Dude, I'm not texting. I'm you were sitting. typing and you looked. That's There's even a worse if you have your kid in the back. If something happens, bubble, you're going to be responsible for that. Comments on a picture. This is a little thing. Just okay. to let you, you know, know what? You're, you may be an Go old ahead, man. So I you may be an old man. man. I don't need your insurance. I'll pull, it, I'll pull it up, ma'am. You me. are going to be issued a cite citation today. And I talk in today. my phone like this. That's why we don't have a full way and out. She's still talking and he walked seat, away. Well, I have a child to attend to. I've asked you to stay in your seat. Can you please close? Is this, excuse me, is this part of the law, a part of getting pulled over? I'll is tell it, you what. Is it? I'm just asking because you're being pretty forceful about it and I'd like to know the truth. Oh, is it's that for his safety in case you do a sudden movement. Because you, you, you seem kind of crazy. What you're, being, what you're being cited for is Are texting while driving today, ma'am. I'm going to give you a copy of the law today. You're not going to answer my question about the law. What is your question again? Is this illegal to have my door open? It depends on my my feeling of a safety, and you've been very aggressive for absolutely no well, reason. Come on, bro. You, you have a small. I'm not your text. bro. Okay? I'm not your bro. I, I love your that. Your small child is dependent on you, and their life yeah, you gotta is make in sure danger. The, their the kid their is life safe. is in danger because of what you're doing. You're endangering all our lives well, today, and that's why you're, you're being cited. You're making an assumption that I was texting when I'm using yeah. voice to talk. Well, ma'am, you can go to court. Well, if you're using on voice to text, you why would your head again. be down like that? 9 o'clock in the morning, yeah. and I would love to there? play this for the judge. This would be absolutely outstanding. This would be entertaining for yeah, the judge. Yeah, he's got the body oh. cam on. You can go on the 19th at 9 o'clock in the morning, this address, courtroom 1B, to plead not guilty in front of a judge. Sure. Your second option, you can actually pay for it in person downtown. <laughs> yeah, keep Making insulting them. Keep insulting the police officer. That, that, that'll stop. work out well. I'm going to go ahead and give you a head. copy of the law today. I don't even need you to sign this. I'll go ahead and say no, 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 don't do that on my car, please. Excuse me, that's my property. Do not do this on my property. Unwilling. He's not writing on your car, lady. Do you have any questions lady. for me today, ma'am? <sighs> plenty of questions. There you go. Are you going to stop the traffic so I can take a left out of here? Not a chance. Why? He's Jamming asking him to stop really traffic. Do you know my, Have a great day, man. You know my daughter just had an oh my God, that well, lady. She's uh, alive today because oh, because of me. Like how entitled can you be? He called her a douchebag. Your Honor, I'm a douchebag. Wow. Get ready for a wild ride as we dive into a shocking encounter between a power-hungry cop and an outreach worker who dared to spread love and acceptance so with a simple rainbow, rainbow on the sidewalk. The sidewalk. You won't believe uh, what cops happens try next. to detain him. Um, so, why did she use to draw the rainbow though? Because if it's like a spray paint, that's one thing. If it's chalk, that's another thing. And so you guys don't have um, body cams? Why is that? I don't have them. Why is that? You should know, right? I'm an officer. I'm not management. I don't have. Them. Oh, I so al always love that. They're asking questions that are like above them. them. Like, how are they supposed to know what management does? Happy. Not all departments are going to have body camps. It's, it's super, we got called out, right? When people are chalking. It's state property. So if that happens, I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's a misdemeanor. If you pick a rose right there because it's on state property, the law is a misdemeanor. So, so hold on, let me talk, okay? I know that you. So she's using chalk to, how to, do to draw training. it on the I'm sidewalk. Asking, I'm just explaining, but you're yeah, stepping over. Beginning. Us. I'm asking questions. Yes, we're asking questions. And I also am. I'm not do you want me to finish where I was going? I was trying to. They could easily clean that up. I don't see a big deal about this. Like, 
it's going to go nowhere, right? It'd be different if it was like spray paint or something. Says that they've on viewed vandalism, which it is. Great. We have to make contact. We have to do our job, Great. and it'll be done and over. Just like less attitude is better for everybody, right? I'm I think you just use a, some water to get that off the sidewalk. I actually was. You refused. You no, refused. I was asking you okay, questions. I'm telling you, you refused. I didn't. Refuse. Oh, why. so they talked to her That's before why. this. I why asked you. ID? I asked you why you needed to see my ID, and I asked you if I was being detained, and you said yes. So I immediately pulled out my ID. I didn't refuse. You did. Which part? Which part? That I refuse. When I asked you for your ID, you I, refused. I asked you why, and I asked you, am I'm I being detained? I'm telling you, you refused. Period. What part of that is refusal? When you didn't give it to me when I asked. I asked if I was being detained. That's not refusal. That's well, even if she's allowed to ask right why, to if, I'm if she continues to not do it, then that's a problem. But she said she took out her ID after she asked what why. What happens when two Karen cops confront a store manager over allowing customers to wear BLM face masks? Prepare to be stunned as tensions rise in this shocking encounter where the simple act of expressing beliefs sparks a heated debate. I will not be coming here any longer. So okay. just because of a face mask? Can you just who's, ask who's, who's above you? Who's the, above the person that's above me is not here. Okay, who is that? Sensor to protect. Number? His phone number? Mm -hmm. I don't know his phone number off the top of my head. Okay, but do you have it on your phone? No, I do not. Okay. So if something if something happened to the store right now and you have to get a hold of him, how would you do that? Look for oh, so it's a such a worker on number. break wearing Why? a BL um, face mask. What do you need to talk to him for? Because we don't feel safe coming here any longer. And we're oh, you don't feel that. safe coming here? To eat? Correct. Okay. So well, that's great. Okay, so let's find the number for him, please. No, I'm not going to So help the officers went there to eat. They saw the BLM face mask. Are you ready to see the dark side of law enforcement? In this video, we expose a disturbing encounter between an aggressive cop and a citizen who dared to exercise her right to film. Despite claiming a routine traffic stop, tensions escalate quickly, and the cop threatens to arrest the woman. Let me give you some Oh, advice. so the police are well, the Karens well, in this stop, situation. You are not legally allowed to walk up and interfere with our traffic stop. You can stand back and record as much as so you want. So they're not to. even part of this but investigation. But if you interfere with the traffic stop again, I'm going to arrest you for interfering. So they're filming you understand that? Don't as ever a third interfere party. when one of my guys is on a traffic stop. Okay? My name is Sergeant Dave Ernst. I'm with the State Police Gang Task Force. All right? This is your last warning. If you ever walk up on one of my officers during a traffic stop, I will place you under arrest. All right. You good? I guess it all depends all right. on how close to they get to them. Okay. Because you can Am technically film in public, you were never but if you're getting okay. up to in somebody's Ever. face, that that's a different story. None of your business. It's none of your business. I think it is my business. How is it your business? Because I'm a human being and I... You have no interest in that traffic stop whatsoever. It's none of your business. There is a lot of it's racial profiling in this oh, town. very aggressive, <laughs> but not have being okay. filmed over some <laughs> traffic stop. Yep, yeah. go, just go. You're gone. You're good. Go very on. defensive. I'm talk anytime I want to. Excuse me? We it have a does look like they're in public, right though. Go ahead, go ahead. Who's being racially profiled? That individual. For, for being in a gang? For what? Exactly, just being brown. For being brown? Yes. Exactly. Wow, you are you are about as ignorant as I've ever met. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, my goodness. Now, to be fair, I didn't see what happened before oh this, yes. so you I can't guys, really go comment go whether it's happening or not. Night, Don't be such an idiot. Put that on website so he tells him not to film and this puts male him on the Karen website. calls the police on a mother and her non-verbal autistic child for making too much noise in their own backyard but when the officer arrives things take a turn for the unexpected okay i'm not complaining about nothing she's the one that's complaining it's a nuisance call every time we come home and we have to listen to that we have to listen to that like in, block autistic children we need a little bit more loving and caring at night um, in the daytime he's you should have a little slack for them when he's out in the mud and you, you called cps on her and they said that and he called That's cps because they're fine. autistic the child was over here saw what was going on okay but when he reported it to the uh, child protective services mm -hmm. they couldn't do nothing about like, it correct. because none of their people were just here witnessing what she does cut them some slack on a basis what lets her kid play yeah that, that's all we it's do not, there you go again it's not just as simple as playing in the yard okay she's using the kid as a weapon to destroy our peace i don't even know you guys using the child as a weapon to destroy our peace what does that even mean i told her 
the way you take care of an autistic child is you put him in a facility. He doesn't have any I, kids. And I help, I help them wow. build a shed that would have all the things that the kid needs. He wants to put a toss. In the oh, in the he summer, wants to put an autistic water, child in a shed. Child, or Windows, a facility so that he couldn't escape think racial so he profiling escape. is a thing of the past think again in this shocking video we witness a black woman being accused of trespassing at a pool she doesn't belong to just because of the color of her skin but when confronted by the apartment manager and police officers will she be able to prove they're wrong so i do the and manager I should know if she lives there or not My, it is just I have a room here and I told her that and and I told no and let me explain my side to you she called you officer and she called you here so y'all both here harassing me why have my children why have my children in the pool I mean if she can prove she has a room she then to them. it shouldn't okay? be an issue my room, where's my proof this is my proof okay this is my proof so I don't why do I have to tell you what room I'm in what did I do wrong this lady here is discriminating me because that is not true. That is not true. That is not true. That is not true. You ask me what I don't have to tell you. I have a key to get it and I can show you that it work. Why do you need to know what room I'm in? Um I have a room. So if she has a key and it works in the door. Then obviously she has a room, right? I don't. I don't have to. I don't have to give my name. Yes, ma'am. No, I do not. I don't have to give my name. I don't have to give my identity. I did not break the law. I know the law. You can do whatever you want. And they're running my license plate. They're running my license plate. I'm here on business. Like this seems a little bit more the over the top, though. You do. Like, you do. In front of the kids here, too. You didn't ask them nothing. You didn't say anything to the man and the lady. You said nothing. Like, just no, let her get the key, so see if I'm it works in the door, kids. then obviously that's proof the, that she business. has a room I'm there. I'm on business. So they're running my license plate. Like, where would, this officer where would she here. get a key if she so didn't the other have a room there? Run my license plate. Oh, they don't even know who I am. They don't even know who they mess with. Ain't going to tell me I have to get my identification. I prove that I have a room here with my kids. So because we're, I'm the only black person here, in this pool, they want to question me, but it was two Caucasian people sitting right over there, and she said nothing to them. Because he wants to know who I am, have no reason, I have no reason to tell who I am. I proved that, I, that I'm here. It was two white people sitting over there, she said nothing to them. She said to me, oh, because it's always people like you using the pool unauthorized. Who's people like me? Yeah, that's, that's not a good phrase to use, is people just like came you. Up to me, going by her story. Never yeah, asked especially in 2023, where everyone's really sensitive, words. like that's that's he something you can't ask or say. He never asked me anything. He never he never said anything to me. But do I have a woman? I said and yes. He's on I his do. phone too. And he said, um, show proof. So I showed him proof, and I said I can show you my keyword. I'm here on business. Like this is something that so could be like me. ten seconds to prove, she came to and then the situation is over. Me, you don't do need you to drag this out I like said, this. Yes, ma'am, I do. If I would have said no, then that would have been a problem. I said yes, ma'am. Like, this I is do. something the manager what should have taken care of, not call the police. Like my two in my opinion, it doesn't need like the police in this situation. In the pool and don't have a room unless here. she can't prove that she stays there, but she has the key. If it works on the door, obviously she has a room. Automatically tells me. That he, yeah, <laughs> it, it's, it's, gonna, it's not going to be funny after I call eternal affairs on you. It's not going to be funny. Eternal Trust affairs. Me, I, and, and I am. And I am. You don't know. You don't trust and believe me. You were here from me. So now he's telling me to call the, the chief on him. Please share this video. Now he's being smart saying call the chief. He's saying call, call the chief. You, you don't need to tell me anything. What? You don't need to tell, you don't need to educate me at all. Well, who I need to call, period. But if I come up here and I have to handle a call, I'm going to handle it the way I say fit. He said if he have to handle a call, he going to handle it the way he see fit. Yeah. Was that <laughs> a threat? Right? That kind of sound yes. like an aggressive threat yes. right there. Very, very racist. Your, your action does not prove like, that. Come on, in 2023, there's mouth, but your a lot of what phrases you, you can't use. Because you came here, you didn't even say anything to me. Once I prove I had a room, that was for you to walk away. I did not do, commit a crime. You are. Look at his hands. He's got a nervous tick, like too. This in front of my kids. 
He doesn't even want to look they at the person to either. They enjoy themselves in the pool. Like, he's very uncomfortable. Look at him. Yeah, come out. Come he on. won't even look at the come person the talking. Pool. Come out the pool. I'm in Williamston. In a racist place. Come on. This, she's the racist right here. Right so, here. my boss come said on. she's not allowed to not tell us her name or room number, and she's having the general manager come over. We'll call we so, want. even the boss said she doesn't have to do it. I know, I've seen his shirt. I saw him leaving earlier. And she was yeah, crazy. exactly. He was out here smoking a cigarette. Thank you. Fine, fine, exactly. Exactly. Now he want to know, is the car registered here? It don't matter. You, you sick? It don't matter. So now they're going after a car to see if it's registered in the state. That, this is way over the top for something like, oh, let's... Can you show that you have proof that you're she staying said, here? Um, people, now they're looking at her license like plate you, and everything. She said it's people like you that comes to the pool that's not authorized. Who's people like me? Yeah, that's a phrase you can't use in 2023. That's very racist. And break the law at all. Here, here on business. Ma'am, I would not like to speak to you. Ma'am, I do not want to please my Oh, I think that manager got in trouble when she out. talked to her boss. I don't want to talk to you. Goodbye. Get out my face. I don't care who you have. You just better get out my face. Is it ever okay to break someone's car window to save a life? That's the question at the center of this intense that is altercation a tricky situation, between two yeah. women. One claims she had to rescue the other's daughter from a hot car, while the other accuses her of not minding her own business. What do you think? Because you tell me it's none of your business that your child is in pain. She's yeah, if, in it's, pain, she's if it's like a car very hot day, no air conditioning, I would break that window. Tell everyone what you're doing. Especially if the daughter's Tell asleep what you're doing. and it's hot Tell as hell and she's the stuck car, in a car with no AC. The parking lot and the car door is locked and the sun is kind of beating right at the baby's face in the back seat. Still in a little car seat. I don't know how old it is. Oh, I'm and it's a, car it's a little, little oh, baby you're too. Out here yelling at me. I was in the car with her. You. Well, that's a different she's scenario if the, the, the mother's in there. Because she said, she said the baby's in pain. If, like, the mother went to the she store and left pain. the baby in the car, that's a different uh, situation. Because she's sleeping in the sun, she said. No, she's outside yelling at me. You hear this? In the car. I was in the car with Elsie and this is calling the cops on me. I'm not doing anything but minding my own no, business. I just walked up. Let me talk to him make sure. Oh, because he's white? No. Because he's yeah. white, you're not, you're gonna, it's okay because he's here now? No, because he's acting sane. You're because I was minding my own me. business sitting in my car, you f Let's go. Yeah, Let's go. Really easily. So she What's wants to talk to the white guy and not the other woman? No, she's, wait, okay, let me talk to the father, please. You hear this? So from what I gather, it's an interracial couple. The woman, I'm assuming, is black or Hispanic, and the guy is white, and this old lady refuses to talk to the woman, but will talk to the man who's white. No, this is not your business. I am sitting in the car, in the air When I mistakenly think the child was in distress. How is she in distress? So can we just admit you made a mistake and we can leave? Yes! I okay, can bye. see she's okay now. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. so it was for nothing okay then. Because my white husband is here? So she... I can't even tell he's white. He doesn't have a face I can see. Really? I can't oh, tell really? that he's you white. can't tell? Okay. So Aren't now okay? that he's here, she explains it to her. Because every because time I'm out she says, oh, I made a mistake. Something yes. now. Uh, she's okay, not in distress. I am sitting I in know, the car no, with her. She's not, but she, I think you knew, know you when knew, I saw her. You knew the air not conditioning was on. Yes, oh, so the did. air conditioning you was know, on. In the, car, the mother was in the, the car. Air conditioning on. On. No, I think it is. Look, she's so what was the whole thing about you. breaking the window? She appears to be in this. I didn't know. Well, I'd looked to well, see. Can you just explain to me what looks distressed? So she called the cops well, thing, kind of and didn't out. have... Oh my god. She's she could have got arrested for a false report. In the shade, you I had to come around. We just stopped. No, get in your car. And they're in the shade, too. Business. And I can't come all the way up here to see there was someone there. No, no. Then she knocked on the window and told me. 
I very nicely tried to say to her, oh, I saw your baby back there. Did you know that the sun was beating directly on the baby's mm -hmm. face? And she just looked at me like, what, what, what? And she was just, then she just started getting really nasty. Oh, yeah. And I just, I mean, look, that's all I'm I I'm sitting thought. in the car, in the air conditioning with her, and you knew it. I couldn't tell. And so then you I said you were going to call there. the cops. And then yeah. I, but no. In that uh, situation, though, that's none of her business. The AC's like, on, the mother's there. Yes, she did. In the car. She was out here threatening me. Well, she was in the car when you came up, right? You knocked, you knocked on the window. Because she's threatening to beat the... Out of me well, I never said that. I never, I I never not, said that. I never said that. I had a child to be injured. Wow. wow. You to injure it. Oh, yeah. That's you deserve that child yeah, to be you injured. You. you see this? Pushing me. Pushing me. This is what I deal with all the time I'm out in public. That is a nasty person like to say that. I never once threatened her, and I have it all on video. The cops threatened me. I never threatened you. Yes, you I will did. post the video on Facebook. Whatever. I never threatened you. I said, mind your own business. Whatever makes you feel good, do it. Okay? Wow. Like, you never should never, like sitcom, ever surrounded by clueless threaten a child. That's exactly what this little boy must have felt like when he outsmarted a group of police officers in a store. Accused of stealing, he pulls out his phone and turns the tables on every single one of them. But these police officers think I was stealing. Look at them. Look at them. Look how dumb he looks. Look. Look at them. I want all y'all badge number two. I swear to God, I'm not playing. Look at them. Look how dumb they look. How dumb you look. How dumb you feel. I ain't had nothing on me, did I? <laughs> so Crazy. they accused him so of stealing, probably stupid. detained him. Look at him. Look at him. Then found out that he didn't look actually steal man anything. I was look at this man. Over here look like the man off of... Uh... Bro, what? stop playing with me, bro. They thought I was stealing. Now they feeling stupid. Because like, they caught the Anthony with all this stuff, and I ain't caught, caught me with nothing. Like, so his friend stole, not I'm him. Like, badge number, your badge number. Jamin. Yup. Well, hey, can I, but he no, could have been an accomplice, hey, even though he wasn't number? stealing, if his friend huh? was stealing. Bro, don't, bro, don't put your hey, hands on me. Hey, bro, don't put your hands on me, bro. Look, y'all see it, right? Don't put your hands on me. Bro, can, can you get your hands off me, bro? Are you going to stand up again? No, I ain't going to stand up. Get your hands off me. I want your badge number, too. And my mom, I want your badge number. I want your badge number because your badge number is about ready to pop off your fat ass. I want every one of y'all badge number. I promise you, I want every single one of y'all badge number. Like, if you're you with, so, out, let's say you, Ooh, two so people lucky. go into a store and one steals, and, off, and they both fire, walk bro. out together, out, and they find stolen merchandise look. on one, look, they're going to detain look. both look of them. Him. Look at him. Get my bag. Get okay. my bag. Come on. Get my bag. Look at him. Look at him, y'all. Look at him. Thought I was stealing. Goofy. Goofy. Looking dumb. Like, you could do this in a calm way. Stop playing with me. I ain't had nothing in my bag. It's all crazy, man. Pocket full of money. You know how dumb do you look? Not look at him. Say hello to the live, sir. Hey, look how dumb you look, y'all. <laughs> look how dumb you look. Looking stupider than... You look stupid. Just dumb. You look pitiful. You look like, pitiful. I get it. You You're angry pitiful. that they accuse you of you stealing. You think me and my mans were stealing? You look pitiful. pitiful. But they did find you. your you friend so was stealing. Stupid. You were with him. Do you believe how dumb you look right now? You look so dumb. <laughs> You look so stupid. <laughs> like, is it ever a good idea to taunt a group of police officers? That's oh, the this question is never this a good idea. Is about to put to the test. Armed with a donut, he dangles it in front of their faces, testing their patience and sense of Oh my of god, humor. this is but the dumbest the thing you could ever do. Or will things take a turn for the worse? If there's no camera, they would have beat him down. I had like 10 donuts before I came over here. Tell you what, man, a dog ate that first. Hey, any of you bootlickers want to get away from my face, real quick? Did he just call him a bootlicker? What the? Oh yeah, you got that. Ooh, I got that. You got that. Good. Got so that's the whole thing. He was baiting the police into doing this. He knew they were gonna have a reaction. Hey, don't touch me. Because the first thing he said after they did something is, "Did you get that?" What's he getting arrested for? What's he getting arrested for? Keep in the peace. Back off. Back off. Please don't touch me. He assaulted lieutenant, you back like, off or you'll go to jail. They went over the top of this, they should have never arrested him, but at the same time, he should have never baited them. That's a, a bad reaction on both sides. food place and get kicked out. But when the cops arrive, things take an unexpected turn. Watch as the two men completely ignore the officers, leaving them clueless on how to handle the situation. Ignoring the police? That's not pretty good. 
Yeah. We'll have to go to another location. Yeah, we can probably hit Battle Creek. Hello. There we go. This one. Yeah, we can do that. We can go to Battle Creek. So they're not even yeah, acknowledging yeah. the police. Hello. Are we not being verbal? Yeah. That must be Swiss. That sounds good. We're really just good. trying to have a conversation. Oh, we're not trying to yell at you guys. I do like the crunch wrap supreme. Okay. I, I like the, so they're having a conversation with themselves while ignoring the police. <laughs> and the police are trying to get their attention. I like the burrito supreme. It's, 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 it's they're it's charging work. five bucks for that Are they really? Thing. Really? Sir, that must be that's the sour sir, cream. By the way, right do police have a, a certain yeah, civil conversation, conversation about this? Really? Yeah. I always add extra sour cream, so that puts it over five hours. Yeah, really. So does. why are the police mm -hmm. approaching them in the first place? one simple burrito that I can make at home for like 50 cents. Right, right. Crazy. It is crazy. Totally insane. Like, you probably don't want to make the police uh, angry. Think you've seen road rage before? Think again. In this terrifying encounter, an off-duty cop takes things to a whole new level, leaving everyone around him in a state of shock and fear. You that won't already looks what very aggressive. Next, but it's like watching a scene straight out of a horror movie. Oh, Everybody awesome. else? What did you say? Take a better picture. Huh? Take a better picture. Close your f door. Oh, he slammed the door on him. Assault? No, it's yeah. not. No, it's not. Touching my door is assault. Hey, Touching cut me off door. again like that, you ignorant little cow. Touching wow. my door is assault. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take a picture of your Touching license, my please. door is assault. And as a matter of fact, I've got you on my dash cam. T Touching my door off. is assault. Touching you know my door is assault. He's right in the car, too. Touching my door is assault. Like, that is an aggressive police officer right there. Okay. Touching my door is assault. You really think you're important don't you yeah 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 why is that because you're brown yeah is that wow what? yeah touching my door is assault you're gonna cut me off again like that you're gonna have a serious okay. fucking problem touching my door is assault touching my door is assault okay are you a are like you a imagine living in this city with police officers okay. like that why would you do that touching my Donna door is girl. assault hey you already said that you okay like why would He's you got some okay. serious anger issues. Meets the Avengers when you have a fierce woman armed with a camera. In this hilarious clip, a group of mall cops are caught manhandling an alleged thief, and things are starting to get out of hand. But just when an it alleged seems like there's no thief. hope, our hero Not enters proven, the scene alleged. armed with a powerful voice in a camera. Did you say I didn't even go into the store? So he's what alleged to stole it, but no what proof. What are y'all doing? Man, look, man. Apprehending him for shoplifting. No, I ain't digging myself. That's an aggressive way to business. apprehend them. I don't, baby. Because, like, y'all are in uniform. We're not supposed to be. Yeah, y'all are. Yeah, this looks a little bit like sus right, right here. What is that? A, a business card? Yeah, you do. You to physically put your hands on someone like that. Like this doesn't look like it's by the book procedure. That's fine, and you'll get that merchandise back. I ain't even out the door. You walk through. Set of doors. Bro, you gotta pass all the points of purchase. What do you think you do? Are you gonna call the police? I, I mean, because th this is a bit extreme. No! Yeah, please, call 911. I mean, well, I'm, I'm recording right now. Can someone else call the police? Because... Y'all going to jail. I literally just got out my car. The, police, that's why they the one guy, the bald guy, has... Looks like an earpiece on, on, too. I all of that. And that's please, not necessary. Y'all take that if y'all want it and leave me the... In the event that he is shoplifting, I can take his information and call the police. Right. You shouldn't have to be physical with him. Man, you guys are not in uniform. You didn't yeah, that doesn't look like a security guard badge. for the mall. So it's basically civilian. Because they have uniforms. Him. That's not I okay. haven't. It's possible it exists, but I haven't seen undercover security guards. If that's security. I'm going to get it back when you ain't let me out. Oh, here's the police. When I get out of jail, I ain't going to jail. Oh, security. I didn't see him kick him. So he says he kicked him in the side, but it must have been before she was recorded. Yeah, they must be the undercover security then. 
Because it's weird that they're not in uniform. Who do you think we are? I mean, what are y'all doing? You didn't identify, so I don't know who you are. I did hit you. You did too. I did hit you. You see what? We so it takes three of them to detain this one guy. Exactly. Pretty much. I didn't want out the store. It's not even necessary. So he's saying that he never left the store. They're accusing him of stealing. So did they drag him out of the store, push him against that wall, question him, and then call security on him? Are you still reporting? I'm about to call. This woman runs over to a group of police officers and accuses them of arresting the wrong guy, claiming it's all because of racial profiling. The tension is high and the accusations are flying. But who's telling the truth? You be the judge. It was those people going after him. I saw that. Yes. I saw that. So we got a difference of opinion here. After you the and police they went and the, the citizens. After you and not the other white guys. So the you police were, the one were holding him down against the car. Him. Now they let him there go. A couple, like, white guys over there you notice how as soon as the camera the goes on them, and they let him go. They're not aggressive away. to him. They start talking to him. It's kind of weird. believed the white guy when they said this guy was the one in the wrong. That's what happened. Okay, well, you're not going to contribute positively. I don't give a Hey, we're injecting things in. Yeah, why didn't you pull up the, pull over the other guys that were part of it? We're done. Okay, good. I told you what happened. I told you what happened. This guy was accosted by other people, and he was the one that was pulled over. Ah, the classic nosy Karen strikes again. In this hilarious a nice clip, car. a Karen causes a scene and calls the cops on two innocent men, accusing them of not living in the house they're at. But oh, when the cops I hate arrive, these things videos. take an unexpected turn that will leave you in stitches. Watch as the it's Karen the gets a taste go, of her oh, own you don't medicine. Oh, I know who she lives here. Her lesson and about they actually do the live there. For no reason. <laughs> oh, sweet. The cops can get on this Karen? That's, that's like, that's not, that's so did she... Fault. Just go to the side of the road, accuse people of not living there. Reporter, but don't interact with her. I like that car though. Uh, if you guys have a lease, I'd just like to see the lease. No, man. They don't have to show you the lease where they live. At all. They're like in their 30s. Imagine a random person just comes up yes, to you like, yes. I want to see your lease that you live here. Just, like, that's ridiculous. Medium weight. The f we got to steal something for? Babe, what do we need? You <laughs> Okay. I, it looks like there's been a misunderstanding. So, oh, a, a all of a sudden it's a misunderstanding. There's been a misunderstanding. When I was driving by, I saw an individual behind the house, and so I stopped. Profiling. And and all the windows are closed, and it looks. It's hot as fuck. That's your beaming. business. And so I'm like shocked, and I'm like, okay. And so then I back up, and then I see an individual crouched again, and I'm like. Um, hi, like, so, what are you doing at my neighbor's house? And then... Do you just go around greedy, everyone's house to see who's in the backyard? Greedy, you didn't so that's when I call 911, because I'm like, okay, like, this isn't my neighbor. He said that he has a niece, and now he's got his phone and he's recording me, so... Oh, all of a sudden, and, when he records you, the story changes. Okay. And there's a yeah, misunderstanding. No. Oh, here comes the police. Uh, okay, time to yeah. settle this. And, and the cops are here. You did all this for somebody that lives here and pays rent here. So Girl, she said herself there's a misunderstanding. You so let's see how the police street. respond to this. So I guess this woman was harassing my partner. Oh, please. Oh, so they're a gay, gay couple then. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. We can stand right here, bro, to be honest. This well, is my I house. Just, I just want him to separate from her so we can talk. He's on our side. Without her yelling at That's good, Dave. Okay. So, what's going on? Uh, I guess she doesn't believe that we live here. We moved here three weeks ago. About three weeks uh, ago. Yeah, so if they're a new neighbor then. The property owner. Okay. So, obviously, she wouldn't know them if they're new. A really weird issue to have. I was standing behind my house, right here. 
she pulls up, she stops. Okay. Oh, what do you mean? I wave and she pulled off. I heard her car still humming right here. She got a fucking hemi in that. She, I heard her car still humming. Yeah, it's a nice car. Side, I'll and I admit that. Side. And she asked me what I was doing here. I said, I live here. I walked back outside because I peeped through the window. I'm not seeing her right here. So I walked back outside. I asked her, did she need something? Mm -hmm. And she said, yes, I do. What are you doing behind my, my neighbor's house? I said, I live here. These neighbors? I don't know. who, Whoever she's talking about. She said, whoever lives here got two kids, and they don't. We live here. Right. Excuse me. I'm, I'm, you, guys, you guys all moved in or just starting to move in? Uh, all our stuff's in the garage. Some of it's in the house. Okay. Yeah. This guy calls the cops on his neighbor for parking on the street outside of his home. His reason? She's blocking the way for his fifth car. But who's in the right here? His Is it the fifth Karen with too car. many cars? Or his neighbor who's just trying to park on a public Imagine street? Imagine having, Share having your five cars and not be able below. to fit them. I live right there. And I've lived there for seven years. I've lived there for longer than him. But he doesn't want me to park. So he's trying to park of five of his cars on the sidewalk. He apparently has five cars that he needs to park here. <laughs> like that's ridiculous. So Imagine all the money you put into neighbor. five they cars. Leave nasty notes on every You just need one car, car, maybe two. Swearing at people not to park in front of their house, and this thinks I'm threatened by her. Yeah. Opening, she opened my car door. I guess he owns the sidewalk. <laughs> This guy. That's, that's irony. Yeah. Ironic. Sarcasm. <laughs> Even the cop is like, you have five cars? Yeah, you don't own the sidewalk. Okay, well, she's parking here, it's too late. Why it's too late? Why it's too late? <laughs> Her car is right there. Okay, I'm gonna park while you're still here. Yeah, see, so the cop says she can park anywhere he wants. Once you leave. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. So she just threatened to harass her for the rest of her life. That doesn't make any sense. If you made it to the end, then Jesus. let me know by typing the words Karen's versus police in the comments below. Somebody if has this video five cars, made you angry, then and they get so aggressive, they call the cops. The cop says, oh, she can park wherever she wants. It's not residential uh, parking. And the woman goes, and the wife of the guy goes, oh, I'm going to harass you for the rest of your life now. Like, that's aggressive. But, oh, what an episode that was. 43 minutes of Karen versus kids. Why does that look like a cartoon video game on the right side there. Why is her face and her body two different um, models? Karen's who got what they deserved on 109. Ooh, that is that is quite the eye right there. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys like that. Click that like, share the video, leave a comment below, hit subscribe, and as always, I love each and every one of you. Hope you're all safe, healthy, and happy. Peace and love.